Okay, welcome. Now, I'm going to take a little look at this uh, furniture set because if you're if you've been following my channel, the little house build that I'm actually doing, I need to start thinking about putting some furniture in it. So I'm just picking up small bits as I'm going along. And this is the first set that I've picked up by Mini Art. It's a furniture set. The box, well, kit number, should I say, is 35548. It's in 135th scale. And what they're actually showing you on the front is virtually what you get in the box. It's two chairs, uh, a dresser. Well, actually, it's two dressers, but they've just split it up, and a table. Let's we'll just take a look at the back. Some very, very simple instructions on the back showing the sprues, the assembly of the table, and of the dresser, and also the chairs. Uh, I don't think there's going to be a great deal in this box, but uh, we will open it and have a little look. And that is what you get is one bag of sprues with two sprues in. That is it. What I should do, I shall drop the camera down and we'll have a closer look at what we get. Right, we have uh, two sprues. The two sprues are exactly the same, so we'll just go through one of them. We've got half of the uh, tabletop there. There's no graining, there's nothing. Uh, a little bit of flash, a little bit of clean up. It's just a matter of gluing the two halves together to make the, to make the whole tabletop. Uh, nothing too exciting. Uh, by the look of it, this is the back of the drawer unit. Fairly well detailed front. Uh, I mean, at the end of the day, dresses and drawers are, are nothing really exciting. Uh, being styrene, it's going to be, you're going to have to uh, do quite a bit of wood graining to make it look pretty effective. Uh, we're moving down now. Uh, we've got the chairs, the back, two legs, the seat, and we've even got the crossbar that goes in the bottom which is quite nice so that is going to give it a nice effect. Nicely detailed legs, uh, nothing, uh, well it is a little bit over the top. We've got the seat, uh, I'm surprised there's no back pad. If I turn it over it might be on the other side there. We've got the legs to the table, we've got two on this sprue and two on the other. A little bit of flash on there bit of tidying up. These bits are the sides to the drawers and we've got a whole line of uh, pieces for the dresser, the back of the dresser moving across. Uh, I think that's yeah that's the ends to the dresser. Uh, then we've got the doors for it, nicely detailed. You can pick these out with a little bit of uh, brass. Uh, that will make it look more authentic, I think. Uh, that looks like, yes, it's got little feet on it, so that's the actual base. And you've got the little plinth that uh, goes on the top. Reasonable cornice, whichever way you want to call it. Reasonably well detailed. I would say once these all go together, they're going to be reasonably nice. Uh, looking at the back, there's no injector mark pins that you have to fill on the face side. Like I say, it's going to be a lot of cleaning up and messing about, but we'll see how they go together. I probably will be ordering another set to give me four chairs. Uh, I feel that there should be four chairs with the table, even if they are going to be broken and you know you still want to actually see that amount but all in all not a bad little kit i shall be putting this together and be playing with it well before i actually need it uh, just to get to some bits done so that is it really so that's a little look at uh, this furniture set 
And I'd say thank you very much for joining me. And uh, hopefully we will see you on the next one. Thank you very much.